Bonjour, everyone. I figured I'd make a quick, unscripted reaction video, as there has been exciting news, some revelations, and some very exciting reveals about an upcoming show that I have been dying to hear more about. For those who don't know, uh, San Diego Comic-Con is happening right now, and just yesterday, at a certain Looney Tunes panel, there was some exciting news regarding the Tiny Toon Adventures reboot, Tiny Toons Lunaversity. A cartoon show that we've heard oh so little about for, I want to say, about a year and a half now. So, to see new images revealed at this panel, oh, it's got me very excited. I will be honest, I was fearful. I had my concerns. My, my fears, my concerns regarding... Uh, <laughs> Regarding rumors, uh, what very little we knew about the show, um, the state of Looney Tunes as of post Space Jam 2, uh, I was very fearful for what this reboot was going to do, but from what I've seen so far, I think we're in good hands. I My hopes have been rekindled, and I am very excited to see where this show goes. But for now, I just wanted to share my reactions with you guys, the audience, uh, regarding two pieces of art that were revealed at the panel yesterday. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So here is our first piece of art that was shown to us at the panel, and my god. <laughs> it's gorgeous! It's gorgeous! Seeing this has got me all giddy inside. Oh man, this... Upon seeing this, my hopes and my dreams have been more or less fulfilled at this point. <laughs> uh, the art style is gorgeous. Uh, all the characters that you know and love are easily recognizable, distinct, uh, you can still recognize them, even though they're slightly different from their 1990s appearances. Uh, we got a interesting selection of characters in this piece of art here. Uh, Buster Babs, Plucky, you know, obviously Hampton's there. Uh, we've known that Sweetie Bird is there also, which is very interesting, uh, considering that we saw a early piece of concept art for her. Uh, Sometime, I want to say back in 2021, sporting a new getup, a leather jacket, and some markings. Uh, pretty cool. So I'm guessing they may have a more prominent role for that character. Uh, Dizzy Devil can be seen in the far corner, <laughs> racking up quite the bill, it would, it would seem. Uh, Taz is there, r running some sort of cafeteria in the back. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, I, I misinterpreted, oh, okay. All right, so Dizzy is actually working for Taz, okay, cute. And also, it's it's Buster who is racking up the tab at... <laughs> uh, Plucky, looking like an egotistical prick. So, I'm guessing these characters are going to retain most of, if not all, of their defining traits, their characteristics. I take it Buster will be a uh, laid-back, cool kind of leader, but also being somewhat irresponsible. Uh, Babs being the theatric and being energetic. Uh, what has got me very excited, I feel what has single-handedly rekindled my hopes, is the character that is in the deep background. In the background, who is doing most likely some sort of poetry corner, I guess, is Fifi. Fifi is confirmed back for the show. Oh my goodness, there is a god. Thank the maker. Oh boy. 
I was very fearful for this character, considering, uh, considering the Pepe Le Pew controversy during Space Jam 2's production. I was very concerned that this character, a character who appeared similar to, uh, commonly related to, and acted similar to Pepe, would subsequently get the axe, get cancelled by cancel culture, and that would be the end of it. But no, that is not the case. She is back, she is here. Oh. So I'm pretty sure a lot of us are giving a huge sigh of relief. Uh, I'm very excited to see where this goes. I'm not sure if this means either Pepe or Penelope Pussycat are gonna be back, but, uh, hey, if she's back, anything's possible, right? Speaking of returning characters, let us now look at the second piece of art. Len Kirley, over on Twitter, has posted the exclusive San Diego Comic-Con poster that he himself created for the show. And... Oh... My god. He... He has knocked it out of the park. This... I have to be dreaming. Like, this can't be real. But the fact is, this is real. <laughs> this is insane. I am going nuts. The wave of nostalgia that is washing over me right now. I'm at a lack of words. This is amazing. Okay. Now that I'm done freaking out about the poster, <laughs> Let's actually delve into the poster. I take it that this will be our main cast of characters that we will follow throughout the show. Uh, several of them that we've already seen in the previous piece of art. Uh, Dizzy, Sweetie, Buster Babs, Hampton, Plucky, Fifi. But it also confirms the rest of our fan favorite characters. Uh, we have Furball in what looks to be a raggy yellow shirt. Interesting. Uh, we got Shirley in a whole new getup. Uh, new hairstyle, wearing glasses. Uh, earrings. A nice colored shirt. Very interesting redesign. Let's see, we got Go Go Dodo. Very good. Uh, Calamity Coyote. A little beeper. I mean, obviously, you gotta have them. Uh, oh, hey, little sneezes in there, too. Hey, cool. Uh, oh, that, wait, that's interesting. That is really interesting. In the background, that's, that's Elmira. That is fascinating for a number of reasons. For context, uh, shortly after this cartoon's announcement back in October of 2020, uh, Cree Summer, the voice actress who voiced Elmira in the original show, uh, made a tweet saying that she would not be included in the reboot. And that put a lot of fans off, thinking, Oh, what the heck? You're gonna make a Tiny Toons reboot, but Elmira's not included in this? Isn't she kind of a staple of the show? I don't know, it just threw a lot of people off, and people were starting to get skeptical of this reboot, myself included. And it didn't help that Warner Brothers just sat there in silence, didn't confirm nor deny anything, so... If anything, rumors and speculation ran rampant shortly after that tweet. Looking back now, I think there was... Uh, I think undeniably there was some miscommunication, some uh, misunderstanding with what that tweet was trying to say. I think what it... Uh, the context I take away from it now is that uh, 
Elmira is referring to Cree Summer herself because Elmira was one of her more uh, iconic, memorable voicing roles. And unfortunately, uh, her voice talent, uh, the voice we're all used to, will not be returning to voice the character again in this reboot. That's how I see it anyways. I mean, we are still learning new information about this reboot as of now, so maybe between then and now, some things have changed? Uh, we'll just have to wait and find out. But until then, uh, Elmira's confirmed back. Oh, I, how did I... Okay. I'm only now just realizing that Buster is not wearing gloves. How I missed this before boggles my mind. Okay, everyone, I think that's gonna do it for today's uh, unscripted reaction video. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, listening to my ramblings about a cartoon show I hold dear to my heart, and for sharing in the excitement about this upcoming uh, Tiny Toons reboot. Uh, until next time, this has been French Guy 261 signing off. Au revoir, YouTube viewers.